Becky from Babes in Hairland today. We are going to show you a fun little way to finish off a ponytail. Now I've just done a half pony where I parted it from ear to ear. You can do this um, multiple times on a ponytail or make one big ponytail, but you're going to take sections of hair from both sides of the pony. And if you want this to look cleaner, you're going to have it be wet. You can make this messier if it's dry. And because her hair has got different lengths at this point because it is shorter, I'm going to put a little bit of product in here. Alright, so you're basically making a knot. Okay, pull it tight on top of that elastic. cinch it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her hold the ponytail up out of the way. Can you grab that one? Okay, and then I'm going to take these tails, make another small elastic, I'm going to secure them underneath here. You probably could get away with doing bobby pins top, but we're going to do it this way so it hides underneath. And then, if you take your head back here, you can pull this out. Make that a little bit wider if you want. But that's just simply a fun way to top off your ponytail. Now we're going to curl the rest of her hair and show you our fun new curling iron that we recently received. Okay, so we have finished the little pony knot and now we're gonna curl her hair. I'm just kind of clip some of this out of the way, but what we're gonna use today is the Chi Arc, and that stands for Automatic Rotating Curler. Um, Chi sent this to me uh, when we were getting ready to do our book, and this is really awesome because it has a rotating barrel. Um, I'm gonna turn it on, it heats up in like 30 or 40 seconds pretty darn fast. So um, the neat thing about this is you don't need to sit and rotate or you know use your wrist like you would. This has got these great buttons. You push and it, it curls the hair up for you and then if it's like this you can push the reset button and it brings it back to the top. So we're gonna go ahead and start curling her hair and I'm gonna take some smaller sections so that's why I divided it up in half but it's just got a little clamp on it. And then if you want to curl it up, you just push that button, ease it down a little bit through the clamp. And I've only got this on about 360, I think. Okay, and then because like this is off on the side, you just push the reset button. Okay, it's pretty slick. And of course it is something new to get used to, but it is pretty nice that I don't have to think about which way I'm wrapping the hair. I've used this uh, for our book. I've used this on some gals that got married um, and did their hair for that. This, this works great. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this bottom layer and then we'll do the top. So we will just fast forward through some of this. Okay, we're to the very last section here that I've left in the middle. Obviously, for the sake of time, I haven't taken a bunch of little sections. They're just a little uh, thicker. Curl this one the opposite way. And I love how this feels in my hand. It has got a wonderful grip on it. Again, this is the Chi Arc. Okay. 
And there you go. These are just beautiful curls. We've got the fun little knot up on top. And uh, that's it. So hope you enjoyed our tutorial today. Quick and easy for a school morning or a day at work. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out all our tutorials on babesandhairland.com. See you next time.